Hi everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MJS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. Non-subscribers, I'm hoping to tease you into pushing that button. This past fall is my 38th year coaching football and as a defensive coordinator, but over that time I've also been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation here, I'm going to show you one of our uh, plug blitz pass situation stunts that we call Twister. Okay, and we utilize it in passing situations. So this is a third and a long eight is what I would call it. Okay, so let me go back. Sorry. Both inside linebackers, okay, are involved. And they're going to plug B gap on their side. Okay, both defensive ends. They're going to, or they at least should be taking three-step release outside upfield, reading the tackle. If the tackle's to them in the third step, they plant, rip inside, reading the guard. So more often than not, they end up in A gap, but not, but not always. Meanwhile, if they cross the face of the inside linebackers, the inside linebackers exchange outside as they're taught to do in all situations. Okay, same color jersey crosses your face, you exchange outside. All right, so. I'm, we're in what's called black combo, which is black cover black is too deep man under, but we're in a combo because of the bunch situation. Okay, Coast Guard had the tendency that year in 10 personnel grouping in these situations to go into a bunch set. So I called cover black and our players added combo when they saw the bunch, in this case, bunch tight. And that, that's all there is to it. Okay. All right, so now, as you can see, the defensive end, and I forgot to mention this, as he was ripping up field very clearly, the tackle was to him, but he also had, Coast Guard was huge in releasing backs out in passing situations, okay, and they essentially threw hot. So the, the defensive end on the side of the halfback, so in this case, this defensive end had an automatic peel that week as part of the game plan. So watch him. See, he peels off, does a beautiful job with that, okay? So in the tight copy, you'll see the interior part of the twister blitz beautifully. You won't necessarily see... The combo that's being played against the bunch. But if you see what I'm talking about, so what I want you to do now is focus on these three defenders here who are playing combo. So essentially this defender takes the inside route. The outside defender takes the outside route. And the deepest defender here plays the vertical route. And if they're all vertical, they're all covered. And you have deep help behind, right? See, everybody comboed up perfectly. Perfectly. Okay. And so because of the peel, because of playing the combo perfectly, quarterback had to throw the ball away, okay? So I don't like the stutter step here, okay? Starts with stance. His feet are too wide. He did, his heel's not off the ground, so he can't dig off his front toe, dig and drive. So see, the quarterback's throwing hot here, but because of the peel, he's got nowhere to go with the football. Okay, now up here, this defensive end is wrong. He should be planting and ripping into the A gap. So he's wrong on that one, okay?
and we end up with an interception because of the not a very good throwaway by the quarterback. Okay. Perfect. So I'd like to thank you for watching MGS Coaching Football. Hopefully I got nine subscribers to push the button. And I also want to thank YouTube for providing this platform.